Hello, we're on day six. It is 5.30 in the evening and we're about to give little Fern her afternoon meal. Um, so we're going to introduce something new, a little bit by accident, um, because we started it this afternoon. Um, a cage was out of use a bit earlier. Silly me went out and we left her for too long and she weed in a cage. So whilst we cleaned and dried that, we couldn't put her in a cage. So whilst I was feeding her, I was using food to build positive association and to train her with something else. So if you've seen on the other video about how to build positive association with a cage using food, I've started doing that. Then I've got her to learn that to be in her cage, she needs to be nice and calm. But when she's in her cage, she needs to go in it and be nice and calm and lie down. So I'm using food to model that now. I've also got a carpet tile, which is a mat. And the reason I've got this is because if we go to somebody's house or if we go into a different room of the house or if we go somewhere where we need the dogs to be with us, it saves lugging a great big bed around with us everywhere. So we can just put that in the corner, we can say to the dog, go and lie on your mat. And when we've told the dog to go and lie on the mat, the dog will stay on the mat until we invite it off. So it's better than lugging a big, round, a big bag, a big bed around with us and the, the dog's got her place then where she, that she knows and she will lie there until we tell her otherwise. So we're going to start building that association with that. So I've got, it's a square as you can see and all four sides are surrounded by a different colour and a different surface so the dog can differentiate between the two. She can tell less when this is under her feet compared to when this is under her feet compared to when this is under her feet. Her, her feet pads are really sensitive. So all I'm going to do is use food to lure it onto there and then feed it to her. And eventually over time, I'm gonna use food to lure onto there to tell her to lie down on there. And then I'm gonna use food to lure on to there and make a wait before she gets her food. And then eventually over time, I'm gonna extend that period of, of time between lying down and getting her food. And then we're gonna introduce a word of command to go and lie on your mat. And over time, it's gonna take months and months and months that she'll be taught, when I say go and lie on your mat, it means go and lie down, be still, don't make any noise, mum and dad are busy and we need you to be quiet. So this is how we're going to start it. Same as everything else, we're just going to lure onto it, facing me, feet, put four feet on it, and she gets a treat. We bring her off it, four feet on it, and she gets a treat. Good kid. You don't need to add any words yet, we're just getting good gear. We're getting the behaviour of the dog having four feet on the mat and facing me. Now I'm gonna see now if we can lure her into a sit on the mat. Same as in the, the video I filmed about introducing a dog to sit, I'm going to feed her underneath her head level so she isn't jumping up for the food. Okay, we've got a bit of progress there, so I'm going to see if we can get her to lie down. So I'm only releasing it when she's lying down. She'll now learn if I want that food. I've got to have all four feet on the mat, that wasn't there. And I've got to be lying down. That was a bit of a mistake on my part. So, I've got loads of food left. There's no point in me putting you through the ordeal of making you watch a cute little puppy dog enjoying yourself. So I'm going to carry on with this after the film. Well, that's all we're going to do for now. Let's say hi. Let's say bye. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll keep up with that. We'll film it every now and then and just show you a little bit of progress each few weeks. Thank you.